Thames, a new series with Michael Barrymore. That's Strike It Lucky, Wednesday, 8 o'clock. At 8.30, Who's the Greatest? A new series hosted by Brian Moore. In the first programme, Dennis Waterman and Eamon Andrews defending Muhammad Ali and Rocky Marciano. And at 9, a new series of Taggart confronts a vicious murderer. He wore a mask. What would you make of this lot? Well, she was obviously entertaining somebody. Tag it at 9, who's the greatest at 8.30, and strike it lucky at 8. Three to watch for a new look to Wednesday night on Thames. Morning! Did you know Abbey Life can cover you for all life's unexpected ups and downs? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. No one can offer a policy that will suit you better. And you never know when you're going to go, do you? For unit trusts, health schemes, pensions and life assurance. Bet your life you'll thank Abby Life. <laughs> I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with T. Um, Webster's Yorkshire Bitter. What about T? There's no comparison, lad. No. On a misty day like today, it's easy to see why London used to be known as the smoke and was world famous for its fog. Well, maybe reducing lead in petrol is only a small step, but by leading the introduction of unleaded petrol, Esso is giving the motorist a choice, because nearly 40% of 1986 cars are capable of running on unleaded now, and yours could be one of them. To help you, Esso have produced a fax leaflet, a list of unleaded car models, and a station directory. So, leaded or unleaded, don't close your eyes to the choice. Wouldn't you rather be a tiger? We asked some housewives to test the new Vileda Supermop. They were obviously impressed. Then they noticed how easily it cleans and gets into all the nooks and crannies. It gets into all the nooks and crannies. And how quickly it dries the floor. It dries the floor much quicker than my mop. But four weeks later, when we went to collect our Vileda Supermops, they'd been so taken by its amazing drying properties, they were a little, um, reluctant to give them up. The Vileda Supermop, once dried, never forgotten. This is our mum, and here's her new gas cooker, bristling with bright ideas to make life easier. Thing is, as a family, we're a bit of a handful, so she needs all the assistance she can get when it comes to cooking. My brother Seth likes his chicken impeccably cooked under the solar grill. Dudley likes a casserole and the precise control fits his busy schedule. Seymour's always lecturing us on the merits of Kiev. And then there's Rupert, right on time. And frankly, he does like things a bit special. But then, wouldn't life be boring if we were all the same? That's the beauty of gas. British gas. Energy is our business. A familiar face on television. She's always in the news, but you know nothing about her. Now read her own remarkable story. Jan Leeming, the private life behind the public smile. Exclusively this week in the Daily Express. We compare British education with the rest of the world. Are we really bottom of the class? Lloyd Hunnigan preparing to defend his world championship title. And Simply Red's Mick Hucknall doing the right thing. The New Look Daily Express. Have we got news for you? It's new, and Diamond celebrates with the birthday show. And if it's your birthday today, then from all of us here... Happy birthday! Frank Windsor plays a man whose redundancy money buys him the chance to make a new start with the flying lady. Just you tell me this is one of your duff jokes. We haven't really spent all our money on that thing out there. More new drama, but this man is on the run. Flood time. Can I remind you, I have been beaten up, tailed, snooped on, shot at. New on LWT, top lawyer Matlock on the scene of a crime. Man's been shot over there. Drummond's returns in spectacular style, a new series with George and Mary starting their new life together with an unsolved problem to face. I mean, there's the baby, surely. 
or what of it? And to mark 50 years of the 999 Emergency Services, a special weekend of programmes. Some spring and summer highlights. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yes, indeed. Stop it, stop it! You old fool, that was last week. <laughs> Has anyone got Joe Loss's number? <laughs> the show's, it's over. Yes, sir. Hello, yeah. viewers. You saw Jonesy on the stage last week, gyrating. I saw him when he came off, knackered. <laughs> it's not unusual. <laughs> Oh, Darby, more Sloan's liniment. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Me and three other fellas, they enjoyed it. And, you know, I tell you, getting him... getting him out the theatre in that walking frame, I mean, it was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, oh, the whole hometown looks the same. <laughs> so I stepped down from the train. Thud. <laughs> Platform was the other side. Now, anyway... <laughs> you know, no, we had a fight getting him out, old Tom. Mind you, talking to the fight. Did you see Hagler and Leonard? Good, wasn't it? Be fair. Sugar Ray? Ooh, look out. They said it was the richest fight in history. John Collins' husband jumped up and said, Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> Sinatra was there. He was like uh, Sugar Ray's comeback advisor. And, um... <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Doobie, doobie, doo, bang. Oh. But anyway, after he beat Hagler... <laughs> Don't laugh in the wings. Get in the audience with the rest of them. <laughs> beat Hagler, they said, who do you want next, Sugar Ray? Hitman Hearns? He said, not at all. Get me Hurricane Higgins, no ifs or buts. <laughs> Poor old Alex, hey? Banned for six months. They said, well, it'll be the same as playing a frame with Cliff Thorburn. And, um... <laughs> Is that the one? <laughs> I'm sorry, Cliff, I'm joking. And all because Higgins' manager said to him, use your head. <laughs> Mind you, the guy Butter should have known better when he saw him putting the chalk on his forehead. <laughs> All the snooker players now have to take a mandatory dope test. And it's positive today. Higgins is a dope. And you know... <laughs> talking of dopes, have you heard our song for Europe? <laughs> what a pity they threw out hanging last week. <laughs> Why don't they let the politicians go in for that, eh? Do you imagine them? Eurovision songs with Maggie. Maggie and the voters. Making your mind up. <laughs> David Owen and David Steele, pop it on a string. <laughs> You've got the David Steele doll now, you know. David Owen speaks to it and it wets itself. <laughs> Dear old Joan Collins, she could be in there. Boom, bang, a bang. And you know... <laughs> Kinnock, not yet. Kinnock. Dear old Neil. Freckle face. Flying druid. He has said... What about a song for Parliament, he said. I've got one for you. Bring in the clowns. <laughs> when you think about Parliament, it's the only nut house that's run by the inmates. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> what we must ask ourselves is, who's going to be the next Prime Minister? I've got it. Geoffrey Archer. <laughs> he knows all the answers. Now, do you know, I'll tell you. <laughs> Kinnock said to Mrs Thatcher, will you give me an undertaking? She said, I'll give you a full military funeral. <laughs> Now, I've got my pal, an undertaker, Henry Pearson, and he told me a terrible thing happened. He went round, this poor lady had died, awfully sad, and up the stairs they went. Coffin on the shoulder, down they came, bump, and they hit the wall. And the woman shot up and went, oh, what a sleep that was. They all went, oh. She lived for two more years. <laughs> she died last week, and it was awful. They're up there again with the husband. He said, take it very steady, lads. We had a nasty accident here. <laughs> We've got a great show for you tonight on this magnificent Palladium stage. Please welcome a multi-talented young man, Gary Wilmot! <laughs>
young Gary, but here's another bright young man. Not only does he look very sharp, his line in patter is very sharp. Please give a real nice welcome to Wayne Dobbs, every personality. Welcome back again, Gary Wilmot. <laughs> Wonderful, wasn't it? Oh, thank you, lot. No, no, really though. I mean, I think what with the occasion, the occasion being what it is, I think it's only fair to introduce the band. Is that all right? Yeah. Great stuff. Um, Irvin, this is Martin. Martin Graham. <laughs> anybody with a birthday so I'm interested in that because it's my birthday next month and I'd love someone to sing happy birthday to me but in in a style that, that I like you know like reggae <laughs> one two three happy birthday unto you happy birthday unto you a happy birthday dear Gary darling happy birthday unto you love that to happen to me. We got... okay. Look, you know the rules of the game now. You know the rules of the game. So I'll tell you what. Um, we got anyone with a birthday here today? Yo, hello. What's your name? Fred. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> Fred, what kind of music do you like, Fred? It's the style we're after. Forget the names of the... Country and Western. You like, you like Country and Western? Yeah. Bit of Country and Western for Freddy boy over there. All right. We'll give someone else a go in a minute. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Friday. Happy birthday. With a birthday. Yeah, Gary. Right. Oh, hello. Oh, up in the circle there. Hello. What's your name? Joe. Joe. Hello, Joe. All right. Yeah. Nice to see you, Joe. 
You still got that, Kath? <laughs> what style of you? Now, forget the names of the performers, all the names and that. It's the style I'm after, Joe. What, what do you like? Oh, heavy metal. Heavy, oh, we came down here and all, heavy metal. <laughs> Can we, see a pop Can we do heavy metal for Joe? Bit of heavy metal for Joe. Here we go. <laughs> Birthday. Over here, you got your hand up. What's your name? How did you do that? <laughs> your lips moving, your voice came from up there. <laughs> now forget the names of the group, forget the names of the artists and everything. It's a style I'm after. What's your name? Louise. Hello, Louise. <laughs> All right. And what kind of music do you like, Louise? Five star. No, no. Forget the names of the groups, Louise. Forget the names of the groups. Do you like a bit of soul music then? I'll take it from Five Star. Bit of soul. Can we do soul for Louise? Let's have a go with soul. Why not? <laughs> Get out! Get up! Clear off! Go on! Get out of it! Happy birthday yeah, to you! Throw us now, come on. Come on, try and throw us now. Come on, what we got? Anything special? Opera. Opera. <laughs> <laughs> what you Opera? What's your name? Norma. Norma. Yeah. <laughs> right, Norma, we do opera for you. Off you go. Off you. We do opera. Surprise you. Here's a singer with a truly Tory Lane in Oklahoma. You know him best these days as the star of Dallas, but singing some beautiful songs from Oklahoma. Please give a big welcome back home to the Palladium, Howard Keel. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. 
Say Howard or Clayton, you know, it's very difficult for us over here. Howard it is, isn't it? Me too. Hey, what were you doing with Miss Ellie with the golf lessons? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get a divorce. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a Almost hard thing it, giving your wife a golf lesson. That's true. Even if it is in Dallas. Yeah. Of course, it wasn't too many years ago, you sir, that you starred in this very theatre, never mind Oklahoma. I've got a little something. They've got some beautiful bills in the bar at the back here of shows. Ken, bring that on for me, please. Just look at this, folks. <laughs> look oh, at yeah. that. Look at this, right down the bottom. Des O'Connor. It just shows you. Thank you, sweetheart. I told that guy, I said, you hang around long enough. You're, you're going to be a star. Up. Little dimples. <laughs> you know, that great song you sang in any Get Your Gun, Howard, that kind of sums your whole career up. You are so right. So right. 
The costumes, the scenery, makeup, the props, the audience that lifts you when you're down. The headaches, the heartache, the backaches, the flops, the sheriff who escorts you out of town. The opening when your heart beats like a drum. The closing when the audience don't come. There's no business like show business like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything the traffic will allow. Nowhere could you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra bow. And so people like show people, they smile when they are low. Yesterday they told you that you won't go far. That night you open and there you are. Next day on your dressing room they hang a star. Let's go on with the show. We're going to go on with the show next week, viewers. Same time with our lovely American singing star, Miss Dion Warwick. 745 The Palladium. Hey! There's no business like show. Entertainment through the keyhole on Good Friday at 7. Yeah.